Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you get to be the best doctor by effectively allowing all of your patients to die inside of the hospital so that you can lower the costs and then find out exactly how their death impacted everyone around them. It's Field Hospital. More medical school loans, damn it. Field Hospital is a game where you have to decide who lives and who dies. But the difference is, at the end, you get to find out exactly what happened to all the people whose lives you ruined. Greetings with an A. It's one of the, it's one of those games, huh? Obviously, what we're gonna do is we're going to kill everyone because I feel like that's probably not what you're supposed to do and I want to know if the developer actually wrote endings for everyone that you slaughter. Then I'll probably help some people, but it'll probably just be the jackasses. Your responsibility is to decide whether a patient requires immediate treatment or not. Remember, we cannot help everyone at once. Sometimes you can't help anyone. <laughs> oh, my character actually gets his own background. Damn, I'm lean as hell. Evaluation displayed selfless service and true dedication to it. It's unit at all times. Whoever wrote this evaluation, I'm about to turn them into a liar. Oh, it's me. It's my evaluation. I signed it. That's right. The best evaluation is the one you get to write yourself. All right. My entire family's still alive. We're going to see if we can change that. No criminal records. I'm glad that my past hasn't caught up with me yet. My character is lactose intolerant. I'm not going to lie. I love cheese. I'd rather just die. All right, let's kill some people. Can I treat myself? Can I get rid of my lactose intolerance? I could treat myself, that's random. All right, you will examine several cases. Unfortunately, we have place for only two patients. One of those patients, Google Translate. But those of them with minor injuries may hold out for a day or two without treatment. Oh, I get to torture people over a long period of time. Good luck. All right, does it start you, does it start you like fairly light? Totally committed to the success of the unit and his job. Who the hell bled all over my Polaroid? Seriously, I don't know if someone bled on the Polaroid or if this is just like a ketchup packet. Arm fracture during training, no criminal history. I can request medical tests. Let's see here. Blood type is A. Transmissible disease, none. Blood poisoning requires immediate treatment. Good thing I did that. Now I know for sure that I can kill this man. I'm really glad that I checked out his medical history because refusing his arm fracture felt kind of limp, but now I know that he also has a blood infection that's going to kill him. I feel much better doing this. Julian Doyle, female, seeks self-improvement to move above his peer. Rib fracture due to a high fall. I feel like these wounds need a lot more context. I'm sure the game would like you to believe that she was scaling a wall or something like that, but it's also possible she's just really tall. No criminal history. I got bad news. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill this person. I'm still gonna refuse them because I can. We have Robin Hunt. Okay, is my secretary bleeding over every single picture? Wound. Abdominal gunshot. During training. This is the second horrifying injury that training has done. What the hell are you people doing out there? They're like making sure you still have a job. As I understand it, there's six days of ruining lives to this. And then on the sixth day, you get to find out exactly what the history has become of everyone whose choices you made for them. Robin, you're a Lance Corporal. Walk it off. Oh, see that? Survived one more day. Survived one more day. They're all still alive. I'm gonna sign your death certificates the same way I signed my own evaluation report. <laughs> As you know, a fire happened in ammunition storage facility last night. Several soldiers were sent due to lack of places in their hospital. We have two beds. I feel like we're just not trying hard enough. There's a lot of floor space here. Third degree burns on his head. He tried to extinguish the fire. With what, his tongue? Give me his family information. If one of his family members has a cool name, he may live. Things aren't looking good for you. All right, criminal record, no criminal reports. He's also in critical condition. You got any D&D &D players here? This is how you roll a nat 20 on his ass. Uh. Oh, this guy's a real hero. Third degree burns, evacuated four soldiers during the fire. Critical condition. Okay, now it's starting to seem like every single person they send to me is probably just going to die. I mean, without my help. Thomas Walsh, wound, concussion after fight with colleagues. What kind of fight was this? How did they get into a fight? Was it over the fire? Hey, it's our very first criminal record. On my second go through, I will let you live, sir. Private Thomas Walsh has acute thrombosis of middle cerebral artery. This has a lot of syllables in it, so it's probably pretty bad. Hey, Google, what is acute thrombosis of the middle cerebral artery. According to Medscapey Medicine, middle cerebral artery stroke describes the sudden That's not what I said. neurologic deficit resulting from brain infarction or ischemia. What's in an infarction? By the MCA. I don't know what this means. All right, I just had a long drawn out conversation with Anastasia, my Google 
voice girl. I guess this is like a stroke. If it's not, blame her. You're still not getting treated. <laughs> oh, now we're getting somewhere. Deceased of injury incompatible with life. What? My brain is incompatible of understanding the sentence. Deceased of thought from... Holy sh**, it's tough to say this. Deceased of thrombus detachment. Deceased of blood poisoning. That was a busy day. Dr. Taylor, we need you at the frontline hospital due to lack of doctors there. You really need to put quotation marks around the doctors. We have to warn you that the general staff is highly overloaded right now. Oh, I'll take their numbers down. Oh, this guy made a sound judgment. His name is Kit. I would totally let you live if I wasn't intentionally trying to kill everyone. Maybe next time, Kit. Several shrapnel wounds during combat. Oh, he's divorced. Well, Kit, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is you won't have to pay child support anymore. The bad news is it's because you're probably not going to live. Yoink. My God, this girl lost her entire leg. God, this guy lost both of his legs to a landmine. Oh, he's unconscious. At least he won't look at me judgmentally when I refuse him. Sorry, sir. We've got to we've got to make room inside the hospital. Those are those are the orders I've been given. We have Alfred Bullet Sponge Taylor over here. His wound is several gunshots. At least this guy gets shot during combat and not during training. I was starting to think that we're one of those places that has that little sign on the wall that says like number of days since last work-related injury, and that number is always zero. I just requested a medical test of this guy, and nope. they refused it. So that's how that feels. I'm the one doing the refusing around here. I can't help you if I don't get your medical history. He's probably like, you wouldn't have helped me anyway. All right, let's see. We've got a survivor. No, no. Deceased of an ammonia. <laughs> see, I didn't technically cause this. I was informed that Lieutenant General Adams was injured during combat training. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I was going to say we were on one day of no injuries since training, but that goes back to zero now. Expect his arrival. As an exception, you can receive full information if you need it. It's not going to change anything. Right forearm gunshot during attack. Okay, we're getting really specific with the injuries now. All right, we've got a new thing today. I'm only saving divorcees. Ah, you didn't do it. Richard's like, I'm happily married. No, you were happily married. Evaluation displayed knowledge above that expected of his rank. I like how your rank in the military is directly proportionate to how smart you are. Nerve damage after car accident, like a car accident trying to save someone or like a car accident because he's drunk and he sucks at driving. Man, this guy's married too. Violation of discipline, several cases of drunk driving. Oh, shit. Kind of kidding about the drunk driving, but apparently that's what's happening here. I'm totally going to let this guy live on my second playthrough. Yeah, they refused the medical report. I wonder why. Remember, kids, don't drink and drive. Leg injury after horse fall during common not draining again can we change the days since the last injury to like hours oh this is the lieutenant general so he's married now but he was previously divorced does he get a pass his criminal history is evasion of payment of alimony i like how they backloaded all of the criminals to the end of the game well he was divorced but technically he's remarried so i'm gonna stick to my guns here i like how someone came into my office and literally it's just unknown what did someone just bring this girl in a wheelbarrow and just like dump her on the floor severe limbs and body damage unconscious was found near destroyed enemies military staff in not identified uniform what i mean technically she's not divorced oh man patrick's still alive kit survived for two days before he died of blood loss f's in chat for kit dr taylor despite your fair decision we were forced to accommodate lieutenant general adams in your field hospital also he personally ordered additional tasks. We have to reduce the amount of requests to one per patient. I like how everyone in the entire brigade gets punished because I'm a terrible person. Evaluation. Famous opera singer. What? Both legs lost due to artillery fire? During his performance in the honor of Republic's Independence Day. Does he have a criminal history? Oh, yes. All right, post-traumatic stress disorder. Oh, I didn't even have to request his criminal history. They're like, yeah, he's got it all. Thievery, violation of discipline, contempt toward an officer. Do some medical testing here. Oh, and he just tested positive for drugs. Man, the people they're giving me is really starting to ramp up. I mean, so's the death toll. I like how this guy's unknown, but he's part of the 95th Brigade. They know a lot about this guy for him being unknown. Evaluation, unknown, wound. Fourth degree burn. There's no fourth degree burns, right? One Google search later. Okay, I just consulted with Google. Apparently there is a fourth degree burn. Medical testing. He's a fellow lactose intolerance guy. 
you will get to survive on the next playthrough as well. Okay, brain damage, right leg fracture. How come this guy doesn't have an evaluation? Here, I got, let me put this, let me put this right where your evaluation is so you can feel better. Left leg gunshot, reported wound after friendly fire. Was it during training? This guy has a criminal history as well. Several cases of drunk driving. Would you run into a bullet? He's like, yeah, I was trying to pick up some milk for my wife and it came, it came out of nowhere. Sure it did. Okay, let's see. What the hell? This guy got shot after he assaulted an officer in the act of the duty. Like while he was in my hospital? All right, incompatible with life. Deceased of alcohol poisoning. This dude legitimately died from alcohol poisoning. All right, here we go. Good morning. We have sent you the requested archive files. Now we get to know how good of a job we did. Patients kept alive three. Ow! All right, here's our Lieutenant General. According to declassified reports, Signed by one J.A. Lieutenant General Connor, Adams was killed in action. Oh, he was leading a cavalry attack when his horse tripped over a fence. Initially, it was reported as an accident during training. Of course it was. You know you're in the right military when your horses are drinking and driving as well. Case closed. All right, so this is the guy that got hit by friendly fire. How did your life end? Military police investigated the case of Steven Anderson after the war. It is reported that he shot himself to avoid the line of duty. Ow. Oh. He was convicted of desertion. He escaped custody three days later. He probably changed his name. His fate is unknown. I feel like I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night with him standing over me. Oh, it's the one person I treated. It was me. <laughs> I get my own obituary? Dr. Robert Taylor saved a lot of lives during the war. <laughs> no, I did not. He started at a field hospital and ended as staff sergeant. I got promoted? Elder brother was injured during combat, but despite being delivered, he died of pneumonia. Oh, I killed my own brother. Their middle brother is considered missing after bombing. Wow, my entire family is dead. The only person who survived was me, the worst son. My son wants to be a medical officer like his father, like me. My son's like, daddy, I wanna be a failure when I grow up like you. I love the smile on my guy's face. He's like, good. Okay, now let's save all the dicks. I'm gonna refuse treatment on myself. All right, I'm treating everyone I can here. Rib fracture girl, yeah, you can get in that. Listen, John, I just found that there's many degrees above third for burns. These are rookie numbers. I'll still save you though. Okay, guy with the violation of discipline, treat him. Oh my God, I tried to help this guy and he still died. Deceased of shock pain during operation. Wow, everyone is still dying and I'm legitimately treating people. <laughs> it's better to just be a jackass. All right, we actually have some people that are alive. I finally saved Kit. This is a guy that died of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> I'll save you. All right, here's the guy who died because his horse was drunk. I'm gonna save you too. Oh, and this is the unknown girl. What would be fantastic if like she's an enemy spy and she ends up killing everyone I saved? This is amazing. The stars aligned and I legitimately just saved three people. All right, dickhead opera singer. Guy that ended up shooting one of my nurses. Guy with fourth degree burns. And I actually can't treat anyone else. So you're you're legitimately gonna die, but I don't have any, there's nothing I can do about this. Well, that didn't work out as planned. I love how I treated all three of these people. One of them was just the unknown guy with fourth degree burns. So there really wasn't anything that bad about him. But the people who were both asses both lived and the one guy who may have been decent died. John Evans passed away at the age of 87. I didn't know it was gonna give me the obituary for like their entire existence. He fought bravely. Shortly, he met Florence and married her. His sons, Matthew and Ralph, are gonna miss him dearly. Wow, this guy was a fantastic individual. He's like the Forrest Gump of the army. I saved Julian just so that she could die like right afterward after a car accident. Probably got hit by my drunk driver that I saved. All right, here's Kit. I'm really hoping that he lived his life with dignity and, and fantastic Kit Harper reunited with his wife Zoe and children shortly after the war. They lived happily for 26 years. Oh, that's nice. Unfortunately, he and his wife were killed during a burglary. Wow, that got dark quick. Victoria lost a leg in the war. She started drinking after her husband was killed in action. She then got a medal of honor. She completely lost control after her father died of cancer. She couldn't handle it and committed suicide. I feel like this is one of those games where the right answer to not be depressed when you get done playing it is to actually play the way I played it the first way and let everyone die. All right, here's our drunk driver. Corporal Patrick was killed in action during a bombing. His body was found in one of the abandoned wine cellars. <laughs> Patrick was like, I'm gonna die the same way I lived. 
Drunk as hell. Okay, this is our unknown girl. Let's see if she ended up shanking all of us. Sometimes heroes don't have names. Unknown soldier was an infiltrator and her intel have contributed heavily to winning the war. Oh, by saving her, we won the war. I did a good thing, like one time. Her fate is either classified or unknown. Given the histories this game has been showing me so far, she probably took up drinking and decided to play whack-a-mole with children. Daniel White, voice of the Republic, dickhead opera singer, passed away at 45. The police report suicide using a ward weapon. Oh Lord. I imagine that like whatever the saber that he got for his award was probably not sharpened as well. So this took a long time. Okay, here's the guy that ended up shooting one of my friggin' workers. He passed away at 38 shortly after his mother was found dead under mysterious circumstances. I have a feeling he killed his mother. This guy's so violent, he gets ketchup packets on both sides of his Polaroid. Doctor Dr. Robert saved a lot of lives during the war, except this time it's not a lie. I got the same promotion. What the hell? It's like I worked so much harder and all I did was get exactly the same thing that I got before. Oh, but this time I saved an unknown soldier who was an infiltrator and I got the Medal of Honor for that. I then died of depression from reading all the horrible endings in this game. <laughs> well, if there's one thing that this game taught me, it's that no matter how hard you work, no one really cares. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Field Hospital. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.